Good afternoon, America. Jake Boyd here with Guarantee RV Supercenters in Junction City, Oregon. I want to talk to you today about this amazing trade we uh, took in. It is a 2021 Forest River Heritage Glen 273RL. It's about a little bit over 8,000 pounds dry. It is a long guy, so you're looking at over 30 feet in length. Um, it really packs in quite a bit of features, so if you're going to be bringing along a, a, some extra folks, there are accommodations to actually sleep extra people, as well as a lot of accommodations to, for a lot of creature comforts for peop uh, people to host, host, or really just for a couple here. So just to start off with, big front window on this cap here. This front window offers a lot of natural lights, tinted as well. You still have a ton of privacy there. There is a shade inside, so that is your bedroom right in there. There is a shade inside to completely black that out if you need, uh, if you really like kind of perfect darkness when you're sleeping here. You do have push button stabilizer jacks on this guy as well, so it makes it pretty easy, saves your arms some cranking. Uh, you also have a push button uh, hitch jack here, so making sure that you're setting up camp, breaking camp is about as easy as it can get here too. Two uh, propane tanks off the front. One of the things that Heritage Glen does that's really nice is that you have a really enormous door here for your pass-through. Aluminum frame, fiberglass siding, you can see some of that framing inside right there. Across the, the corner right there, you can see the battery cutoff switch. It makes kind of, if you're going to be storing it, really, really easy. So literally just flip that switch, no energy in, no energy out. Slam latches for your doors, uh, and, uh, and you have your magnetic latches there, so nothing can fail there. Uh, no the kind of hinge latch that can uh, really fail or really get brittle over time. That huge uh, pass-through storage, lawn chairs, grills, anything you'd like to bring along makes it super easy. There is a light in there. You can kind of flip on and off to make sure that nothing kind of gets lost in there as well. Push button stabilizer jacks right in the front. There's also the buttons on the rear operated independently. Uh, you also have your, um, your plug and play solar. So you can park in the shade, tether it out, and have it sunflowering however you need. One of the things Heritage Garden does is always a huge wide door. So entrance and exit makes it pretty easy and a really nice drop handle too with your solid surface, your solid steps. So they're trying to make it so you can get in, get out, and if you're moving any things in and out, which you're gonna do when you're gonna pack this thing with what you're gonna take along for the trip, makes it super easy and so you're not really fighting kind of the spaces involved. You have two slide outs on this. They're opposing slide outs um, in the main space, which is your living space. And in this slide out right here, you have a big kind of, a big fridge as well as a sink and some storage and plugins for you as well. And you got your bottle opener right there in handy. It makes it super simple, it keeps it easy. You have a roof ladder off the rear here too. So if you need to get up and check your seals, your gaskets, you also have this little articulating arm off the rear which is going to be able to hook up a, uh, an outdoor grill and bring it along with you so that there's a plug and play for a quick connect for your liquid propane. Super easy and accessible there. Um, you just articulate that arm around, uh, you, you slide on your grill, plug it in, and it cooperates with all this rest of the features you have right here. Big awning that goes most of the length of this trailer, covers the slide out, makes the space big, interior and exterior space. Make sure you can use, make as much use of the exterior space as you can, you can the interior. So let's go inside and have a peek at really what really is setting this one apart from a lot of floor plans. Now what we have in this trailer is the rear living and rear lounge, a really, really nice space. You have two opposing slide outs, you're gaining a ton of space, and you're also getting the opportunity for the island. Island itself has an enormous single basin stainless steel sink, a lot of room in there, so you can actually wash what you actually bring along. You don't have to wash half a pot, half a pan, kind of work that way. Nice hardware for your, your faucet as well. Your big fridge, as well as counter space, counter space, counter space. So the counter space makes it so you don't have to have things that are kind of getting in your way. Coffee pots, Instapots, Insta blenders. Um, you can really have them on the counter and really accessible and make, make great use of the space otherwise. Uh, in this space right here, you have um, your storage, lots of drawers, deep drawers, um, and cabinets here. Um, to bring along quite a bit of gear because this is a space that's going to be hosting quite a, quite a few people. Even on, in the island itself, you have storage space, storage space, storage space. 
making sure that whatever you need to bring along, whatever you want to bring along, you have a space to do so. One of the smart things they do as well is they actually have a pots and pans drawer. Um, so you don't have to buy pots and pans that are particularly sized or kind of small or shrunk down. You can actually just bring what you have at home. You don't have to double up. Nice Furion for your, your hood as well as your microwave and your stovetop three burner stove. Just flip, flip this out of the way. It turns into its own backsplash. It's pretty smart. And get around to the entire media center. So this is where a lot of the lounging kind of uh, hanging out space is going to be. Huge television. Uh, your, um, your sound system here is a Jensen sound system. Uh, USB capable, aux capable, HDMI, as well as Bluetooth. So anything you're bringing along, you can play. And that's indoors or outdoors too. You do have outdoor speakers out here. Electric fireplace here. That's going to create a ton of heat for this space. Uh, so if you're not really concerned um, with, the, with the temperature to, uh, that might, it might freeze your holding tanks, that's actually going to produce a ton of pretty much all the heat you're going to need for the interior space here. Windows are huge in the Heritage Glands. Really wide windows. They just wrap all the way around. Um, a lot of natural light gets into this unit. One of the nice things, too, is that they have the nice barreled roof. And so you're high on center here, too. You have your articulating couch, which actually turns into a bed. So two sleepers here. You have your loungers here. These do recline with a kind of your ejection pull cords. Uh, makes it super simple to actually just post up and really get the comforts you're after after a long drive and getting to camp. Your dinette here. Dinette has actually storage underneath either side, too, and essentially your bar area here. Um, ton of storage all the way around. Really nice cabinetry. They've really done a nice job, uh, job of upgrading their cabinetry for this model year as well. Now we've made room in here. You also have a nice skylight up here. Natural light makes these places feel big. That's why Heritage Glen does all the windows and that's why they kick in that uh, extra kind of natural light from the skylight too. If we head this way into towards the front of the unit. Your bathroom space. Great bathroom space here. Um, completely, you have a solid door between it, a nice uh, rectangle shower here. This slides and it squeezes itself shut. You have a nice vanity, operational, operable vanity, and some extra storage space too. Beyond that, you also have storage space for anything beneath the sink too. Everything's really easy and handily accessible, and you're not throwing elbows at the walls when you're in the shower or when you're drying off and kind of getting ready for the day. Great division of space too from that main area and your bathroom is into the bedroom. The bedroom, like I said, you have that big window in front. If you want to open that up and keep that, uh, that light coming in, you can actually stargaze when you're laying there at night. You have nice cabinets on either side. So you have your hanging space for your closet space on either side. You have kind of cubby space on either side too. You've got plug-ins and USBs available for you. Your countertop space, if you want to keep anything on hand, it's on both sides of the trailer too. And you have a full-on closet. So these aren't your only accessible kind of a closet spaces here. You have a full closet right accessible, completely divided from all the rest of the space here. Um, great space in the interior. A lot of room inside as well. If you have any questions about this unit or any other unit on lot, feel free to stop on by and say hello or drop me a line, 773-655-7190. Again, my name is Jake.